So guys, welcome to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So this is kind of a short video that was sent to me by Ubisoft that was already kind of edited together. It's two different videos. I'm kind of combining it into one video. Uh, but kind of watch it with you guys for the first time. I haven't really seen much gameplay of this game. Uh, the way this, this was already sent to me edited. So I don't really know what they were going for. But it's like a drop in, drop out, uh, multiple points of view at the same time. It's kind of cool how they did it because I don't know how you could actually do that. Like, I don't think I could do it, you know? <laughs> so, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're excited for the full game, just destroy that like button. Hopefully, I get a chance to actually play it early. Uh, I think it comes out this October, so we'll see. All right, guys, I love you. Let's get this. So, what? I think the way this is shot, uh, it does, it's like some cut editing montage style, but they're doing a mission, and it drops in and drops out of the four different characters. I think the main character of the game, if I'm not mistaken, is Nomad. He was the guy in Wildlands. He's like the one on all like the wallpaper. I might even use it as a thumbnail. I really have no idea, but they're like approaching. So it's like they're doing a mission right here. There's no like briefing beforehand. So that's why the footage is the way it is. I just think it's cool how it's kind of just giving you like a summary of all the stuff you can do in the game. You're kind of scanning the area and then they're coming in from this side. That's cool how they, they kind of set it up though. I don't know if it's like a four different people playing at once. And they just like edited all the footage together. Like look at that. That's really cool. Alright, I think that's Nomad, the guy with the uh, headset on. <laughs> Yo, the graphics look so good. So you can mark them. Okay. Is that a heavy or something? Oh wow, right through the helmet. Nice. Alright, so I'll go ahead and say it. I've been looking forward to a good Ghost Recon game. I thought Wildlands is really good. Uh, but I feel like this just looks like a whole other step in a different direction that I was actually excited for. It seems more like single player or oriented. Uh, at least not this mission, obviously, but this might be a different game mode. I really have no idea how it actually works. I just heard this, like, it's actually got, like, a solo story and stuff. My Nomad just destroyed that guy. I think that's Nomad, by the way. Now, in the, in Wildlands, you died so fast if you weren't ready. All the rolls seem kind of nice. I love how it's like a, it's like a tactical shooter. But once they find you, or see you, or spot you, or anything like that, it's... Look at that. That's some tanky enemy. That's, that's from straight from the Division 2, it feels like. What is that? Cloak and run technique. I feel like I'm watching a Jason Bourne movie. Everything's so fastly edited. <laughs> So they're infiltrating this area. Man, I like the futuristic look of everything. Oh, well, it's not really futuristic. It's more like modernized, but it's... I feel like the vehicles and stuff we've seen so far all kind of look like... The thing Batman drives in the Dark Knight. <laughs> Yo, look at that heavy. Okay, so it's, uh... Extraction, okay. Oh, wow. They just get on a helicopter like it's nothing. They got him out of there, at least. He's an amateur engineer. He'll change out a turbine. So I think it just kind of cuts to something else. Maybe it's several missions, like, all in one video. It's like a summary of them. Alright, now this is only three people, so I wonder. One's parachuting in. Nomad starts in the water. And then it just starts. Alright. Yo, man, check out the level design. That's amazing. I cannot wait to play this game. It's probably one of my most anticipated games this fall. Up there with, like, Death Stranding and stuff, you know?
I like how you can mark enemies still. That's been there since I think Future Soldier. Is that? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, I'm, maybe not. I really can't remember. It might have started before then. Yo, what's up with the heavies? At least you can take them out with a headshot. A couple, at least a couple of them, you know. They've got the same like I found you indicator. Same noise and everything. It seems like from uh, from Wildlands. One thing I think's improved is the radar. Yeah, visual detection. So this is gonna, I guess this means it's gonna be, oh, what is that? I wonder what year this takes place. 2020, yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't, wouldn't make any sense. Unless. So I wonder, this has to be three different people playing. I remember in uh, Wildlands you could mark stuff like materials. I wonder if there's like a skill tree and stuff, you know? Alright, they're going to a field. Yo, check out the grass. What is that thing in the field, man? Our Fury's over there. And I guess this is Fury's point of view. This must be some kind of boss fight. What is the 90 on that? Is that like a level or something? You know what I'm getting? Like, Metal Gear Solid 5 vibes. Like, you're like on a horse, but you're like taking out futuristic looking vehicles and stuff, you know? Yo, that's sick. He's hurt though. Oh yeah, you can get wounded in this game. I don't know if you like break a leg or something and like you like, start hop hobbling around or what? I don't know how it actually works. I think the first actual clip or video they sent me is about the end, so you'll see like the logo maybe. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I guess they destroy it and then it's just like, oh, we got a break point. I'm just gonna start the next one up though. Kinda watching them back to back. I haven't, I saw pieces of the first one, the second one, I have no idea. Alright, it's a four player thing. Nice little stealth kill. The gun, okay, the one thing that was rough in Wildlands was the stability on the guns. Seems like they've, uh... It's still probably got the same type. Maybe that was also because I was playing on console, so... Use a mouse and keyboard and it's, uh, laser beams. That was a good snipe. I like the ghillie suit in the middle of the, uh... Dam area. Uh, this is a dam, isn't it? Looks like it. I tell you, man, I think the level design in this game is very well done. I just wonder how big the map is, because I remember the first time I went up in the air in Wildlands in a helicopter, it's like insane. Say you can mark him. He's gonna just kill him anyways, but... The character models look really good, too. I wonder if it's got like a creative character type thing at all. I doubt it does, because it's like a story-driven type game. At least I think it is. In Wildlands, you can start anywhere and do the entire story however you wanted to. I thought they were going to snipe the turret guy. I feel like this is a uh, very well-edited video that was sent to me. First, I was wondering, okay, now you're in a, all of a sudden you're in a helicopter, you know? You're getting to see, like, a lot of different parts of the game in a short amount of time, I feel like. I don't know what this was recorded on, but the footage quality is really good. Nice. What is that? Another one of those things that was in the field, isn't it? This looks like a, a next, next gen type game, it looks like. You know? That's what I feel like we're getting there, man. The fact that this is like on, well, this is most likely on PC, but it's like, it's still just crazy quality. Nice headshot. This person playing is really good. Or people playing. I don't know how many people it actually is.
That little noise used to give you PTSD in Wildlands, man, when they'd spot you. Because once they spot you in that game, you gotta go so far away. Look at that. Was that a shotgun he used? I gotta get better with mouse and keyboard. Because watching the aiming on this, I just know there's no way I could do it with a console controller. Nice. Fast little mission. These are like little side missions you do. Like attack a base. Now that one seemed like a story like extract a person. You know, the one, like, very first one we saw. This is like four different missions in one, it looks like. But this also looks like the last thing we did in the... Yeah, same field and everything. Okay. Maybe it all ties back into here. All I know is Quentin Tarantino will be proud of this editing. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. And then go back there at the end. How do you fight something like that with bullets, I wonder? Oh, is it about to send out drones? You know what that reminds me of? There's a... In the Division 2, there is a raid. And the final boss of the raid, like the Razorback, I think is what it's called. It looks kind of something... Well, it's a huge version of this, obviously, but... Sends out drones and stuff. Doesn't have turrets, though. All oh, the weapon will, or not the weapon, but the uh, accessory will look really nice. Nice. Yo, know, that explosion transition was sick. How oh, they cut to the other person? I guess you get loot from each thing you do in the game. All right, man, that was uh, really cool to watch. Thank you Ubisoft for the hookup on the footage. I hadn't been able to react to any of it, but I really wanted to talk about this game, so. I'll definitely be playing it this fall, maybe even sooner if I get a chance to, but uh, any and all support you drop on this, greatly appreciated. If you're excited for the game, that kind of the easiest way to let, let me know you enjoy it. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you very soon. Take it easy.